Just finished up the um, soldering and uh, construction of the kit and uh, getting ready to try it out. I haven't actually uh, tried it at all yet, so I'm going to do this on camera. We'll see if we have any luck. Um, I just ran into one other small issue with the build. Um, uh, some of this kit is actually comes pre-constructed. Um, the the um, the components on the face and the back panel come already mounted to the panel, and a lot of the soldering is done on the uh, you know the IC etc. This rainbow cable here um, is also pre-wired to this section, and then you actually wire to the board. Well, as I was putting it together, I noticed that the um, the brown wire on the on the front panel was actually disconnected, so it seemed to have broken off from um, its intended position. Uh, it's probably from me, I, I, you know, just uh, working with it um, probably came off. So again, I put an email into, uh, through eBay, I put a, um, a, a question to the seller about that. I haven't heard back from him yet. Um, I did go ahead, I, I looked at it carefully, um, and I, I did seem to see a, a place where it looked like um, the lead came from, so I did tack it in there. So. Uh, if this doesn't work, maybe that's perhaps the reason why, or maybe maybe I got lucky and I, I found the actual place. Um, I should say real quickly too about this uh, this kit. Um, you know, it's pretty it's a pretty simple kit in many regards. Uh, you know, something you can put together in just a few hours. And uh, you know, looking at it, you would think, well, you know, this might be a good something for a beginner to tackle. But um, um, I would say this is actually more of an intermediate kit. Um, the uh, it's a very confined space. Um, some of the connections are just really tiny. Um, you've only got a limited area to work in. Um, it's it's not your typical sort of, um, well, I don't know what your experience is, but you know, many kits come and it's just, you know, PC board layout. You're primarily just putting items on the PC board and maybe you have a couple things you need to wise you have to attach. This is a little bit different style. Um, it's almost like point to point and I'm not sure, I've never seen the style of um, PC board before. I, it's almost like like breadboard construction, um, which I've never done. Anyway, I didn't really have a hard time with it, and uh, you know, no fault of the kit. I think it's uh, it's great, especially if it works. <laughs> but um, just just you know, a little warning there. I think it's something you want to do once you've had some some kit building experience, and uh, particularly you know some soldering experience. The um, being able to work in really confined spaces. Maybe you know you have access to a, a magnifier such as this, and some you know good fine um, tools. Uh, which maybe a beginner may actually not have on hand. So uh, let's move on. Let's um, power it up. And I did power it up to see if the uh, display was was working. So at least I know that's going on here. So we are set to, looks like we're set to broadcast at 1600 AM. I'm going to go ahead and um, put this radio on. I don't have an antique radio down here in my shop um, that, uh, that that will play AM. Um, there, everything down here is kind of in the um, uh, rebuild process, but I have this old uh, Sony. This is kidding. I'll tell you what, this will be an antique pretty soon. Uh, going back to the uh, probably early to mid 90s. <laughs> Let's put that on. I think it starts here. Turn up the. And I'm going to tune to uh, 1600 or thereabouts. Let's see, how do I do that? It's not that. Geez, I really should have figured this out before, huh? Power on. Time set track, track clock. Hmm. Hold on a sec, I'm gonna pause this and be right back. I'm gonna figure out how to tune this radio. Okay, I got a little confused. I thought this was uh, had digital tuning. Uh, I was looking at the display, so I was looking at a button. Actually, this has uh, uh, manual tuning, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use the control on the side to dial into around 1600. Oh, that's real quiet right there. I wonder if that's picking up the uh, tone. Let me turn this off real quick. Yep, sure enough. I think we're working. Even without the um, the uh, input going in, I can tell that we're transmitting to this because once we power this on, that gets dead quiet. So I think we're, um, we're gonna have some success here. Um, what I've done is I've gone to uh, iTunes here and I've, I just did a quick search for royalty-free music. So I'm gonna try to stream some of this. Um, and so hopefully we won't run into any problems with copyright. This is um, wirelessly going to be broadcasting to, let me see here, if you can see in the background here, the, um, 
just a, a wireless extender using sort of as an AirPlay device. So that's going to pick up um, the, um, uh, the the Wi-Fi. It's actually not. I don't know, how does this work? It's sort of an AirPlay. If you're familiar with Apple, you understand how it works. But basically, we're going to um, uh, dial uh, send the signal to that, which will, it's plugged into the transmitter here, and then this should pick it up wirelessly using AM broadcast. Let's uh, go ahead and press play. Okay, so now I'm playing from the iPad. Don't get too excited. We're not, <laughs> we're not working yet. So what I need to do now is I need to send it to the um, that wireless extender there. And I think the name of that is called Portable. So let's look for that. Portable. And um, I heard something come out of the radio. Aha, look at that. So we are dialed in. Now, this is, uh, transmitter is fairly sophisticated. This actually is, uh, you know, works through the whole house. So there's a way to, you know, I, very quickly here, I just have the antenna, as you can see, just hanging from the ceiling here. And I'm, I'm in the basement, so this is just a quick test. I'll um, extend this video uh, after I uh, shut down this one and uh, we'll move on to a more permanent installation. We can test the... Um, test the range, etc. Um, let me just look here quick. I, I know this has a um, signal strength uh, indicator and and potentiometer here to dial it up. Let's see what happens. You can see that. I think it acts as a tuner. Um, I think it's actually smart enough to work with the, uh, the wire where it's uh, Somehow, this through some type of feedback, it's uh, looking. It it knows the signal, uh, the strength coming off this wire here, and you can sort of dial that in here. So that's a nice feature with this. Um, not getting a lot of strength here, but uh, again, I don't have the um, antenna set up in anywhere near ideal conditions. Let's turn it up here. How it sounds. Try something. Let me turn up the um, the volume a little bit on the iPad and see if uh, increasing the um, input uh, strength into the um, transmitter helps at all. Try not to overload it. Hmm, sounds a little bit like the Indigo Girls. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. We're not getting any hum, which is nice. Yeah. Not the best radio here either. Um, even though this is from the 90s, you know, most of my uh, restored radios from the 40s and the 50s are going to have actually better sound quality than this guy does. Great. So, uh, seems to be working. Um, exciting. So, let me um, shut down this clip and um, I'll try to do a uh, more uh, permanent installation find a good spot in the house to locate it, turn the volume down, and um, we'll move from there and we'll test the, um, the, the range, etc.